E.T. has the first look. And minutes away. Whitney Houston busted out on the big screen nearly 20 years ago in The Bodyguard. Well, in the years since, she's gone through some very, very turbulent and very public struggles. Well, now Whitney is ready to rock again. And I'm first to take you to the set for her big screen comeback. Whitney and Curlers on the couch. Standing up in church, singing again. The setting is 1968 Detroit, and this six-time Grammy winner has the congregation on its feet. It's good to see that you'll be back on the big screen. We are putting our, our hearts and our souls into this project. In this film, Whitney is a caring mother to three daughters, including Jordan Sparks. She's trying to guide them through life. She's very quick. She's very good. She knows her cue. She knows how to look. She knows, you know, her voice is, is like an angel's. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to let the world see that the American Idol that was chosen and that one is truly um, capable of handling it. Tika Sumter co-stars as another of the daughters, and fans are excited to see Whitney back in action. Just remember her role in The Preacher's Wife? Now I'm free. And who could forget the bodyguard? Sparkle came to Whitney around the time she starred in and executive produced Cinderella with Brandy. I'm your third godmother, hon. Playing a mother and daughter seems natural. Bobby Christina is 18. The American Idol winner is 21. You know, she's got head on, so she's got a priority straight. I heard her talking to her daughter, and she, yeah. she knows she's comforting me, and, you know, she's dealing with all these different things, and it's really cool to see somebody who's got everything, you know, you know, trying to balance and, and juggle everything, as well as wearing the executive producer hat and, you right. know, all those different things. When did you guys first connect eye to eye? That first week. I can barely remember. Uh, production. Mm -hmm. And, um, of the course, table read. of course, we don't, this is our, our, our wardrobe for the set. Yeah. So we didn't really look like this on that oh, day. No. Okay. okay. We had our glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a big sweatshirt. We were like, with our scripts like going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what's the line again? I was just looking at her and um, she was just so sweet and so good. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To know that she was going to be playing my mom, I'm sitting there like at the table, like anxious, like, is she going to like me? Like that whole like right. type of, oh my gosh, it's, I'm meeting a new person, somebody that I absolutely love. Sparkle will shine in theaters next year, but you can catch all Whitney's classics on DVD right now. Mark, I gotta say everything you got with Whitney was fabulous. Thank you so much. She is so lovely to chat with. Good to see her back on the big screen, but now see that you'll be back on the big screen. We are putting our, our hearts and our souls into this project. And as it progresses, it's bigger than we thought just from what we're experiencing as a vibe, as a feeling that we even expected. Was there an excitement, a sort of adrenaline to go, I'm ready to come back and do this? I got a call from my partner, Deborah Martin, and she said, you know, I can't believe this. But Sparkle's been picked up and they want to do a film. They want to do this film. And I was like, you're kidding. After all this, is 13 years later. Are you serious? She was like, they want to do this film, and they want to kill and more to do it, and you know, we, 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 they are so serious. I'm like, wow, are you serious, for real? She said, yeah, yeah, and the process began. And for me, it was just like, okay, well, you know, what, what do I have to do? What sparkles about Jordan in this? What sparkles about Jordan Sparks? Yeah. Yes, yes, that's my last name. Yes. yes. <laughs> I think it's, she speaks for herself. I think um, the face, the smile, the um, innocence, but the love for music, the love for singing, um, her personality just being Jordan mm -hmm. and transferring that to Sparkle, it was not a a uh, hard transition because that's Sparkle is is willing to learn and what's willing to know as she is now. When did you guys first connect eye to eye? That first week. I can barely remember. Uh, production mm -hmm. and um, of the course, table reading. Of course we don't. This is our our 
our wardrobe for the set. Yeah. So we didn't really look like this on that oh, day. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we had our glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I had a big sweatshirt. And we were like, when our scripts like going, mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what's the line again? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Totally. It, yeah. But it was um, a moment of um, where we kind of like bonded, and um, you know, I was just looking at her, and um, she was just so sweet. And so good. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I think our first time, I, what was our first one? The, the With the dressing. dressing. The, the black I, I was so into it. <laughs> and one of the, uh, one of the um, when we were filming it, in, in one of the scenes, I said, Jordan, I mean, sparkle. You know? So by then I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we're going off script now, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. It was it was so we were so into it, though. But I, you know, it was our bond. It was our bond in time. I see a lot of parallels between me and her just yeah. growing up yeah. in the church and yeah. um, mm-hmm. then you know I was singing church a lot I sang in school and then all of a sudden this one thing changed my life and so mm-hmm. there's a couple different things like that so I'm I'm sitting here going I I listened to her and you know I watched her and I saw all this stuff and for her to be standing here and, and just telling me different things it's I definitely want to take it to heart because she's been through so much highs mm-hmm. lows ups down yeah. successes different things like that and it's just so amazing to stand here and, and sit here and be like and she's still doing it. She's still yeah. doing it. And she's still, you know, she's got her head on straight. She's got her priorities straight. I heard her talking to her daughter. And she, yeah. you know, she's comforting me. And, you know, she's dealing with all these different things. And it's really cool to see somebody who's got everything, you know, you know, trying to balance and, and juggle everything as well as wearing the executive producer hat and, you right. know, all those different things. It's phenomenal. And I must say, I didn't say, it's good to see that you'll be back on the big screen. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Thank you. That's it really nice. is.